G'day, I'm Alistair Christie, and this is a bag of mechanical hard drives. So I have 10 hard drives here. Most of them are three and a half inch drives like this one, uh, all one terabyte, except for one, which is two terabytes. And I got these from a computer recycler and they have like boxes and boxes of these drives, uh, hundreds. Um, and one terabyte is still a usable amount of storage. Uh, this drive is from September 2016, so it's about seven years old. So, uh, but yeah, they had other hard drives dating about 10 years. So I, I kind of got newer hard drives and ones that were lighter. Because um, I didn't want, <laughs> a, a large quantity of hard drives is actually pretty heavy. So what we're going to do is we're going to plug them into, into the laptop here and see if they work. If they spin up, that's our, sort of our, our first test if they spin up and are recognized in Windows. So we'll just quickly go through all the drives and see how many do that. And the next test will be to actually confirm that the surface of these disks is still uh, suitable for storing data or whether they've got so many bad sectors that, um, yeah, we wouldn't want to touch them. So uh, let's have a go. So I have here the first hard drive, which we're going to plug in. And I have a USB uh, to serial ATA adapter, so it's USB USB um, three. And if you're testing uh, three and a half inch hard drives, they uh, require a 12 volt supply, which uh, USB does not does not have. So uh, this is why we need an external 12 volt supply. If you're doing two and a half inch drives. They have, um, they run on just five volts, but these run on both five volts and 12 volts. And you can possibly see uh, somewhere it'll tell you what it's rated at. Uh, five volts, 420 milliamps, and 12 volts, 380 milliamps. Um, so uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug this in and then plug it in to the USB. And I'm not sure if that's powering up, so let's. So let's just go create partitions and format hard drive. And it looks like this first one's a dud. Uh, I might just unplug it and plug it back in. So one down, nine to go. And I'm just gonna put my head against it. No. Oh. Okay, that has powered up. So I'm not necessarily gonna trust that particularly well. Um, this will hopefully now recognize another disc. It's thinking, thinking, thinking. Um, no, that's dead again. Might be the connector. I can feel that powering up. Okay, I'm going to say that's no. Let's unplug that. Put that aside. Oh, it might have been might have been connecting. Let's plug the next one in. That sounds much more okay. We have a D drive. So that's our our first drive that we can test. So let's put that in the S pile. Okay, this drive um, was actually sealed in this bag when I got it. I opened the bag to see what it was. It's a one terabyte drive and it's in a, um, a hot swap caddy. Uh, we can potentially um, 
yeah, it's quite a nice solid feeling one. But anyway, let's plug this in and then check. USB on. Okay, we have a blank drive, as would be expected if it was brand new. So I'm going to say that's another one we can test as a as a yes. There's one from 2016. Sounds positive. Yep, and we have some data on it. So that's another yes. Plug it in and we've got another yes. So we have a petition on it. It's a bit chunkier, it's a Seagate. Noticeably heavier than the others. Has it got a date on it? Oh, and I can hear it spinning up. So let's plug the USB in. Okay. Now, in theory, I could just hot swap these uh, straight onto the, the USB dongle and leave it plugged in, but uh, I'm just being a little bit paranoid. Okay, that's spinning up. Do we have a petition? Sounds positive. It feels like it's the uh, the read right head is moving backwards and forwards. I can feel a bit of vibration on it, but I'm going to call that one a no for now. We might revisit these. Oh, okay. D inaccessible. Let's um, let's try it once more. Just and okay, it's recognised that we've plugged something in, but it's not really okay. No, we'll call it no. Yeah, that's spinning up and we've got some data okay so that's another yes okay and another yes okay and the last one Okay, it has recognized it, but it's taking a while. Okay, is it still thinking? No. Yeah, unplug and plug it back in again. Okay, so that might be a no, but I might have a bit more of a, a thorough play around a bit later and see if we can get a little bit more. Um, and that's a two terabyte one as well. That one, that one I would, would actually like for it to work. But sadly, no, it looks like it's not. What we can do is I fire up Hard Disk Sentinel. So this is a commercial application. Uh, it's, yeah, it's not listed there either. So let's um, stop there and do a bit of a recap and see what we've got. So, so far we have these three drives that have failed to detect properly. Um, they all seem to spin up, so that's a good sign. Um, so there, there might, might be some wiggle room here, we might be able to get them, get them going, but um, yeah, they also might well be dead. So, so three no's and seven yeses. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
So the next step is to do some surface testing on these drives and uh, see what we can um, uh, determine from, um, from that. And hopefully we'll get some, some drives there that are perfect, uh, which is kind of what if, yeah, I would probably wouldn't use anything, anything that didn't have 100% uh, uh, on it. Um, so let's uh, go back to plugging them in and um, uh, do some surface testing. So we're now going to do some more thorough testing of these drives. And so I'm going to plug in the two and a half inch drive. And I think this is the one that's most likely going to be fine because it's brand new, or at least let's say never been used. Oh, it made a couple of interesting sounds. But I'm going to fire up Hard Disk Sentinel. So it looks like uh, all the smart things are fine. And look at large buttons. Let's get a bit more information. So it's saying 2047.5 gigabytes. I wonder if that's completely wrong. But anyway, let's uh, go into do some testing. And it is that one, and we'll do a read test to start off with. A read test will not fix any errors, but it will detect any problems. So what we'll do is, for each of the drives, we'll do a read test, and if it passes that, we will go and try and do a write test, which will erase everything on the on the drive. Now, this is um, the surface of the disk is divided up into ten thousand little squares. This is a hundred by hundred grid. Um, but this is not looking promising for this drive. So it might be that this is our first failure. Now, it did make a few interesting sounds when I uh, plugged the uh, USB in for the second time. Okay, we'll kill that one. If it unplug it, that might assist in it disappearing. So that one might be no good. Okay, and this one has a file system on it. Which you're not concerned about. And got no reallocated sectors. And the other one I am interested about is pending allocated and allocated sectors, which is somewhere further down. There we go. And it's also zero. So let's go ahead and do our service test. So it's a read test. Start. And this looks much more promising. Okay, so that's uh, now testing that hard drive. And it's going to take about three hours, uh, which is uh, a while. So uh, testing all these drives is going to take a, you know, it's probably several days. But um, I'm going to do it on a couple of computers and uh, possibly test up to three drives at a time. And well, now I'll probably do one at a time for the for the initial test, and then I for um, when I'm doing more thorough testing, uh, I will uh, uh, do do two at once. So it'll uh, speed things up a bit. But that's looking good, uh, quite positive so far. Uh, but it's got a long way to go. And this is only a read test. We also want to do a write test, uh, which will um, so the the read test is non-destructive, a uh, write test is destructive, but you can do a um, read, write, read type test so that the, it 
writes the data, you know, reads the data, writes the same data back, and then verifies that it has been successful. And that's non-destructive, but if there's any errors, you will lose data. So this is using hard disk Sentinel. There are some other tools we can use, but I'm gonna let this test finish, and then we can, um, in fact, let's just cancel it. Let's go stop. So hard, hard drive Sentinel is, uh, it's a commercial application, they're not a sponsor or anything like that. I've paid this, paid for it with my own money. Uh, but we can also do HD tune if we just want to do a read test. This won't tell us uh, anywhere near as much information. And we just go start. We can do a quick scan, which will just scan a few uh, portions of the drive. And we can say, that's fine. So let's turn quick scan off and do start again and that will basically do the same thing as hard drive sentinel so the other thing you can do um, there's probably a lot of other other free tools but you can drop to the command line and i will run as administrator we type check disk the drive letter and slash Let's just go slash question mark. I think it's slash r. And, oops. Let's just make this bigger. So slash r, okay, locs, locates any bad sectors and recover, recovers readable information. So it also implies slash f, uh, which is fix. So this will scan the entire drive. So d colon slash r and that will also take a similar amount of time now it scans the file system not the disk itself so if it finds any errors uh, it can ma mark clusters as bad um, and the, the drive should automatically um, mark the sectors as bad or uh, indicate them as um, requiring reallocation so pend pending reallocation so that's uh, going to take a while it'll be you know, a three hour job again. So let's cancel that and hopefully, and then we can go back to our retest. Now there's lots of testing options. Um, so if we go, this is our drive selection. So that Retest is probably your generally first uh, thing to try. We do a write, and so that's destructive, and a write and read, that's also destructive. But then there's a, a read, write, read, and that just refreshes the data, and that's non-destructive. And yeah, there's a quick disk repair that'll uh, hopefully get the pending reallocated well, sectors that are marked as being potentially bad, um, get the data out of those reallocated. But, I wonder if I can just terminate this like so and retest. Now, with these tests, you want to be super paranoid about the drive you're testing, uh, particularly with the destructive tests, uh, because you don't want to go erasing your um, any or any useful data. Um, I'm not concerned with anything, any information that might be on these drives, so uh, I'm just going to erase them completely. Okay, so um, we're going to leave that testing. We'll come back to that in about three hours time and see how this drive has fared. And then I will quickly go through the others to test. In fact, I might start testing uh, another drive in um, another machine and we'll get through them a bit quicker. So we'll be back shortly. So we are back. And the results of testing this hard drive is that this one is perfectly fine. Uh, <clears throat> so rather an interesting, so um, no reallocated sectors found, um, there's been no, no anything bad. So we go OK, and we can look at the speed and temperature, and we see that the um, speed is a nice, fairly smooth curve going from I don't know, 110 megabytes a second down to whatever that is, 60. So you normally 
uh, at the outside edge of the disc. Linear velocity is the fastest and so we get the highest speed on the disc and as we move to the center of the disc it slows down. So that's kind of what we expect and the temperatures ramped up and got to a, a steady level. So that's all very good. So that, that hard drive I'd be happy to use that but let's go and have a look at another machine. So this is another the second one terabyte hard drive that I'm testing and not going well. So basically the light green is good this red here is not good at all so it's bad blocks that we might be able to sort of eliminate those um, with a right test and get the, those sectors reallocated on the disk so the every hard disk mechanical hard disk even even ssds have a certain number of sectors or probably tracks in this case allocated to relocated sectors so it means that if there is a bad sector that sector can be sort of mapped internally onto another sector and the operating system can't really tell and if we look well i'll click on this but uh it's having difficulty reading from the disk and therefore you know it's waiting for for data so here we go so temperature looks fine but we can see the speed is all over the place and gradually decreasing so um yeah not quite so good uh, I probably won't use this for anything unless I'm wanting to test uh, <laughs> test something failing, uh, which might be fun. Um, set up a, a RAID array of lots of um, unreliable disks, something like that. Uh, leave a comment if you'd like to see such a video. Um, it's back to the service test, and so it's having you know there's the sections of the disk that are fine. So the the light green is good, uh, and as the the color gets darker. The, the darker the green, the longer it's taken for that sector or block to have been read. So yeah, this is kind of a, you know interesting sort of scatter plot of <laughs> fairly well distributed problems. And if we look down the bottom here, we see that the health of the drive is down to 81%, which is in theory pretty good, but it might get uh, re-evaluated re once um, this retest is finished. So I'm just going to leave that to carry on and I'm going to start I'm going to put this in the good pile uh, this is one terabyte hard drive and I am going to start testing another one and we'll see how we go I might I might even have another go at this um, two and a half inch drive we'll see anyway uh, yeah so basically I'll now test all the all the drives and come back when we have some results so the results of the testing. Let's start from this side. Here we have four hard drives that uh, were 100% when I first plugged them in and they continue to be 100%. And so um, that did a read and write test. I've pretty much done read and write tests on all the, all the drives. And these ones had no problems at all. Um, yep, perfect. Okay, this pile on this side we have some problematic drives. For instance, this one uh, did not detect at all, so it's dead dead. And I'm gonna talk about this one a bit more shortly. Uh, this one is at 46% health, according to Hard Disk Sentinel. And it's got a bunch of you know, sectors that need re relocating, sometimes doesn't detect. Um, so yeah, so dodgy. Um, probably not useful. Uh, this one also sometimes doesn't doesn't detect, but um, it's at nine percent health. Uh, this is not uh, trustworthy at all. So this pile in the middle. So these are drives that are functional, but I probably may or may not trust. I wouldn't use them for mission critical stuff, but they might be useful maybe for transporting data or something like that. So that one's probably okay. It started out at 86% and then after doing a, uh, so that was 86% after a retest and then do a write test, it gets to reallocate any um, bad bad sectors. So um, that's cool. There's no slow reads. So it, th that one is all good, probably. Uh, this one went from 88% to 98% in terms of uh, life expectancy. And yeah, retest, no bad blocks. 
um, some slow reads. So slow reads might be an indication of uh, potential future problems, but still could be a useful drive. This one is at 89% and it started out with one bad block, but that managed to be reallocated. Uh, so every hard drive has sections on it that can be reallocated. So you can take a, a bad sector and remap it to a, a good one. So that's the, the summary, I guess. So out of the 10 drives, we've got three that are bad, three that are probably good, and four that are, I think, perfect. Uh, as far as, I mean, this was this is a brand new hard drive, effectively. Uh, it was still in its original packaging. Now, the interesting thing was, this didn't detect uh, first time I plugged it in, because this hard drive, uh, anything I plug in after it doesn't, doesn't detect properly. So uh, this one is sufficiently problematic that it puts Windows in some sort of confused state. So when you plug the next hard drive in, it's not recognized. But unplugging it, plugging it again, um, it seems to recognize it. So something to be aware of, uh, just because a drive doesn't detect might not necessarily mean that it's a bad drive. Um, but yes, so that's that's the final verdict, I would say. Uh, that's pretty good going. So it's sort of 70% of the hard drives are in good condition. I've tried this with two and a half inch drives, so laptop hard drives, and I basically only got very few hard drives that worked. So I think I would have thought laptop, laptop hard drives would be more durable because they're designed to handle a bit more RAM impact being in a portable device, but um, yeah, not so good. And so I think the oldest hard drive that was okay, this is from um, September 20, 2014. So uh, it's approaching the 10 year old mark. So that's eight and nine years old currently. So I'm Alistair Christie. I hope you found this video useful. Should you trust hard drives from computer recyclers or re recyclers or um, used hard drives in general? Uh, probably answer is not without a lot of testing. Uh, and it kind of kind of makes the uh, the amount of effort that needs to go in to test them kind of makes their value proposition uh, not so good. But um, I will be using these for a future project, which I will hopefully make a video on, and you'll hopefully see it soon. So I'm Alistair, and I will see you in a future video.